This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Welcome along. In this session we're going to look at the dot operator. Now the dot operator is often a source of confusion and frustration in MATLAB. And the reason for this is that MATLAB was originally conceived to be good at matrix operations, hence the name MATLAB, Matrix Laboratory. Now that means that the multiplication, division and exponentiation operations in MATLAB are actually matrix multiplication, division and exponentiation. Now you may not have noticed this if you were simply multiplying, dividing or exponentiating scalar values. But when we have vectors and we want to multiply, divide or exponentiate elements within those vectors, we need to use the dot operator as well. So let's just look at an example of that. Let's create a row vector x that starts at 1, goes in increments of 1 to 10. And let's create a row vector y that's the same as x. Now what we might want to do is create a variable z that multiplies the elements in those vectors together. Now you'd imagine we could do that by just doing x times y. But you'll see that we get an error. Now that's because MATLAB is trying to do the matrix multiplication of x with y. And the rules of matrix algebra state that the dimensions of x and y are not compatible to do that. And in any case, that's not what we meant to do. We simply wanted to multiply the elements in x with the elements in y. And the way that we do that is by preceding the multiplication sign with a dot. So if I use the up arrow to get my previous command back, and place a dot in front of the multiplication sign, we now get the expected result, which is the element by element multiplication of x with y. And this also applies to division and exponentiation. If you want the element by element version, you need to precede the operator with a dot. And this tends to trip people up a lot when they're calculating large formulas and they forget that there are vector quantities in those formulas. And whenever you have a vector quantity and you want an element by element operation, you have to precede the operator with a dot. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.